Hi, I'm back from here. Another video of Donald Cooling in my last video, hopefully. Um, this just basically my book haul of this month. I was gonna do it along with my um December wrap up, but I forgot to do it, and I was like, oh shit, better grab them than never. So a lot of these books I just mainly got for Christmas. Um, so yeah, let's just get started, shall we? Now, I'm not going to mention every single book. There is, like, about seven books that my mom got me, but she has a horrible taste in choosing books because sometimes she chooses the books that's, like, the eighth or ninth or second book in the series, and I can't read it because I have to get the first book or whatever because that came before that. So, yeah. Um, now there's just that. So, let's just get started for my Christmas. The first thing I'm going to show is my graphic novels slash comics. The first thing I got is The Outside Circle by Patty Labucane Benson and art by Kelly Mellings. Um, it's basically about a guy who was a uh, First Nation in Canada. He's poor, he's trying to like get his family by, he's a drug dealer, and then one night when his mom's boyfriend's attacking her, there's this altercation that happens and he ends up dead and he goes to jail and there's this brawl that happens because of some connection she had with this gang he's called with, with called the Trevor Warriors. And then he goes into this program, basically connecting with his, um, past and his, um, you know, things, and it's about that, and I'm interested in reading this, and I can't wait to, to read this next month. The next one I got is a very much anticipated release, and that is Essex County by Jeff Lemire. If you've seen my mentions in my uh, favorites video, I love Sweet Tooth, I quite enjoyed Descender, and I cannot wait to read anything else by him, and I actually do own Roughneck by him, and I'm gonna read Plutona and Black Hammer and World City and hopefully Family Tree after I read this, and hopefully I can get some other graphic novels like Lost Dogs and um some other ones he has like Nobody Man and the Underwater Realtor. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Next is a collection of very old comics that is. The Steve Dick Holmes of Shay the Changing Man by Steve Dicko. These are collecting some very old comics that this character is featured in, and I cannot wait to kind of see more some classic superhero comics. Right? The next is just a very big novel. That is Orphan X by Greg Hurwitz. A person on my phone would read Kyle read this and really liked it, so I'm very much looking forward to that. And let's just get on to some other books I've read. The first one that I got that I actually got from my sister Walmart. And it's right player one by Ernest Klein, obviously. It's a popular novel. It has a movie coming out next year, or what soon will be this year. And obviously, hopefully, I read this next month. Although, I am going to read Twilight series. I'm going to read uh, Red Virgin Hunger Games next month as well, Maze Runner. Um, but I will buddy read those with some books, like the next book I'm going to show off. And hopefully, I get to this next month on February. The next novel I'm actually going to read alongside Twilight is Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. You see my favorites? video that American Gods was my favorite books of this year and obviously I really like his writing I would like I do really enjoy the Sandman comic series and I um, cannot wait to get into getting this and reading it and hopefully I can't the next I actually got a little preview of and that is the Anagrist Blood Duology by Kendar Blake that my sister Lindy thank you Lindy for sending me um overall this is a very interesting looking series it's pretty popular although I know it's not getting that much hype. I know a lot of people write and really like this series, and hopefully I get to reading it. The next is, thank God, a first book in a series, which is worth mentioning, and that is The Hypnotist by Lars Kepler. It's the first book in this series called Juna Lima. It's like a Swedish crime series. Although it hasn't gotten the best reason to read, I'm going to read it anyway, and hopefully I like it, or maybe it's fine, okay. The next novel I actually got to open first, before Christmas, is Girl at War by Sarah Novik. Um, I heard about this from Girl on um, Nope. Melbourne on my mind. Her channel's not um currently active, but she talked about this in her Around the work World in 80 Books video. Um she talked about this in book saying set in Croatia and obviously very six I am interested in reading books that are in four places. The next book I got is the first fifteen lives of Harry August by Claire North or Catherine Webb is her real name. This is an interesting looking book. Can't wait to read it. Obviously, like some other ones. The next one is also one of my most anticipated releases of the this year, but unfortunately, I will not be reading it this year. I'll probably be reading it um next year, next month. And that is Extreme Makeover by Dan Wells. I haven't really talked about him that much, but I love Dan Wells' books. Like the first three, I'm not a serial killer books, 
were really good. Four of them was really good. The fifth one kind of, and the last book was really good, though. Although the end kind of meh. Um, I overall quite enjoy his works. <laughs> I cannot wait to read Extreme Walk because I heard it's really good. And the next novel, or the last novel I'm managing, is 300,000 Million, I think, by Blake Butler. It's, a, I think, a mystery novel that's been a concern compared to American Psycho and House League, which hopefully I'll be reading. I did get another book, but I will not be disclosing it because I feel like it's going to get me traffic that I do not want to get negative traffic. And it's pretty controversial. Someone who I'm actually talked to very regularly um, has read it and has not liked it. And I'm afraid if I talk about it, that Morgan's going to cause this big fight. And that I don't want to avoid... Uh, I want to avoid that, obviously. I'm sorry for the stuttering. I, I'm sorry if my videos are coming off really awkward because I stutter a lot. I'm trying not to stutter. But when in the future, when I want to have an edit and get a proper editing system, I will. And that's the last video of this year. See you next year!